you, like me, are of a certain age, then you've probably spent the best part of 30 years filling your car up with one of these, instead of one of these. But since 2013 in the UK, electric car sales have now risen by over 153%, with even the likes of Volkswagen and Porsche bringing out their own ranges of electric vehicles. But the terminology surrounding them is still very, very confusing. What's a BEV? What's a FEV? What's in between a plug-in hybrid and a normal hybrid? How do you charge them? What's a CCS charger? What's a Type 2 cable? Can you charge them at home just off a domestic plug? Don't fear. Auto EV, we are here to answer all those questions and more. For those of you who don't know your amps from your elbows, we, over the next few episodes on Auto EV TV, we're going to show you all about electric cars. Hello and welcome to Auto EV and our first in our series of the Beginner's Guide to Electric Cars. In these first few episodes we're going to be looking actually at the cars themselves, and the differences between a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid and a full electric vehicle. Special thanks have to go to Hyundai UK because their Ionic model is one of the only cars on sale in the UK that offers all three derivatives. So for simplicity and continuity this is the model that we're going to be looking at. The hybrid was the first to bring some form of electrification to the internal combustion car and that really should be credited to the Toyota Prius in 1997. It was the first mass market car available that combined both electric power and conventional fossil fuels. It soon became the darling of the Hollywood A-listers as they wanted to show off their green credentials as they parked them next to their Cadillac Escalades. Nowadays, however, the hybrid is here to stay, with most manufacturers offering some form of hybridisation within their ranges. Even Ferrari, with its last hypercar, the LaFerrari, performing some type of hybrid alongside its conventional petrol engine, albeit for performance gains rather than emissions or economy. There are two forms of hybrid available. A series hybrid, or like this, a parallel hybrid. Now a parallel hybrid works by having the conventional internal combustion engine and the electric motor connected to the driven wheels. The car itself will then determine what it's going to use depending on its situation. So for instance, low urban speeds, it may just be the electric motor that's in operation. At higher speeds, maybe just the internal combustion engine. Or at cruising speeds, or on inclines, both will run together. A series hybrid just has the electric motor connected to the driven wheels with the petrol or diesel engine acting as a generator feeding the battery pack with power for the electric motor. The one car that did use this type of scenario was the BMW i3 range extender although BMW have now withdrawn that car from sale in the UK. In a standard hybrid you don't need any external source of charging at all as the batteries will be charged by the car's engine or the kinetic energy recovered from the brakes or engine braking itself. In short, no, the car drives just like any other car, a conventional or petrol diesel car. You're not really going to notice the difference. Most hybrids in the UK have a conventional automatic or CVT transmission. In fact, the only one that used a manual was Honda with the CRZ Coupe, but that's no longer available for sale. Well, if you've been a diesel or a petrol driver and you're still skeptical at moving to full electric, then the hybrid does offer you a conventional driving and ownership experience to what you've been used to so far. That being said, with battery technology and charging infrastructure growing, it does start to look like the hybrid's days are starting to dwindle a little bit. Join us in the next episode when we're going to talk about plug-in hybrids. And if you like what you've been look seeing so far and you want to carry on with the series, please like the videos and subscribe and set up so you receive notification of when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching today and see you next time.